Take care, Ruby. They've truly done a wonderful job with this game. Absolutely wonderful job. Didn't think they'd be able to pull off the open world aspect, but they actually did a wonderful job with it. Myra. God, he looks so fucked you? up. He looks absolutely fucked up. Sebastian. Oh, that hurts. Why are you fighting me, Myra? You don't understand. This is our new home. Lily will be safe here. Happy. Free from fear. Free from pain. That's not a life. No, Myra. This isn't real. Pain is part of real life. And so is love. If she stays in here, hmm. she won't live a life free from fear. Because she won't be living a life at all. You don't understand. The things they did to her. I can protect her. No. Please, let me take her out of here. Let's do it together. We can be a family again. No, I won't let anyone take her from me. No, please, Myra. We still have time. We can leave. I am not going to leave Lily here. A parent will always choose their child over their loved one, any day. You have to do it, Sebastian. If you want to save your child, you have to kill your wife. Do this. Ask me that question, and I will do it. To save my child, any day. And I expect the same from my partner. Kill me to save my child. That's as simple as that. That's very unpleasant. I think she might be pissed off. Wait, where are we? Where's the house? What the fuck is that? You look lovely, my, my dear. Very lovely. <laughs> oh, fucking. 
I won't let you. God damn it, Myra, stop this! You're the one who hurt me first. Oh, what's wrong? Got a tummy ache. I, I don't want to do this to you, Myra. Ugh. Come on, show me your belly. Show me your belly. Show me your belly. Come on. You're too late. Never. Oh, I'm the lady. Fucking hell. Let me in there. Let me in there. Let me in them guts. There we go. Ugh, that sounds disgusting. What the fuck? What is with the gunpowder? It's not like I can use it. <laughs> the tracking on these is horrible. Yeah, I need to snipe it for this one. I hit that time. Off with her arm! Oh god. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! You can't escape me! Time to win this, Myra. I don't want to do this. Oh my fucking god, my aim is shite. You know what? You know what? Have this. You're doing a beautiful job of that so far, sweetheart. Fuck off! <sighs> oh, you look very pretty. <laughs> Is that a new diet you're on? New garter belt? That's my boy. Taught him how to dodge and everything. <laughs> Can we please get this cum monster off? Uh, she's melting. Oh! Ew. Oh, it's so gross. Ew, ew! It's like fucking melting yogurt when you leave it, when you take it out of the freezer and you leave it in the sun for too long.
Oh, good lord. No, don't. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. His hands in there. His hands deep in there. Oh, my lord. And now he's walking in it. Better come in the sink than sink in the cum, they say. <laughs> He's waist deep in it now. Bloody hell. She's still alive. <laughs> Deuces. Peace out, boys and girls. Ew, it's all around that mouth. <laughs> Wipe it off. There we go. Afterglow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, don't make a fucking cum monster. That's all I have to say. Like, fucking, why? <laughs> That's my one gripe with this ending boss, honestly. Please. You look pristine after all the beaming shotgun shells I put into your face. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to. No. I couldn't control myself. You did the right thing. Thank you. I'm so glad you're alive. You have to take Lily. Get her out of here. I'd like to say they've actually done all out of here. eyes beautifully in this game. It's too far. Leave me. Just get Lily. Leave me. No, I won't leave you again. You have to. I think you know what has to happen, Sebastian. Go. I'll follow. I'll meet you there. Lily needs you now. Please, hurry. This poor fucking guy, man. Like, he's gone through two fucking STEM protocols. Survived both of them. And he has the possibility of possibly losing his wife. It's just so fucking horrible, man. Like, after he's found her and all. I mean, yeah, the plus is that he's got his daughter, but this is just fucking horrendous, mate. Gotta get to the house. Chapter 17. Why is there... Why is there another chapter? It's literally just one boss fight, and then all of a sudden it's another chapter. My lord. Ah, so unfortunate. I'm reminded of Walking Dead. When that fucking bastard fakes the swing before I can fucking do anything about it! It's like Halo. Dun 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 dun! Oh! Nice transition. Establish contact, sir. Where is he? We can't get an exact location. Wait, the core has been located. The marker is approaching her. The marker. Say his Struck name, dickhead. Re-establish the core. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, sir, but it's too late for that. The environment has taken too much damage. Even with the core back in place, total collapse of Union is imminent. So be it. We still have STEM. We can start again. But we need the core. She's too valuable to abandon. Have the med team prepare for core extraction. How much time? Depends on how fast he can get her to the extraction point. They're close. Shouldn't be long. Med team in place and... They're gonna euthanize him. Once extracted, have the med team terminate the marker. 
He served his purpose. Yes, sir. Guns. Kid, call your man and give him instructions. Well, I guess this is it, kid. Kid. Yeah, I think not. Did you hear me? The. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking that insubordination stupid I'm ass saying? hands. But <laughs> he does it again. <laughs> you can't kill him. Yes, we can, and we will. Go on, do it again. Once he's Aww. back in the real world, he'll <laughs> oh, become a liability. Kind of little wiggle now from his fingers. Call him and tell him where the extraction point is. No, <laughs> it's just the uh, <laughs> his fucking hands. Oh, come now, kid. She's got a girl. He signed his death sentence the moment he entered STEM. Boom, boom. Double-handed. Do as I've ordered, or you'll be signing yours as well. Yep, another one. Yep. <laughs> no. No. A shame that you'd attempt to betray us. I had such hope for you. Well, you don't have a hand gesture for betrayal. Fucking try it. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna put one between his eyes. This fucking dickhead. Walking like he's the cock of the walk. Oh! Dead? Dead. Fucking hell. Whoa! Damn! I wish my fucking accuracy was as good as hers. Oh, we're back here. Nice. Lily! She's gotta be in her room upstairs. Oh god, don't fucking bowl the crossbow out. What the hell? Hey! You find the design of this toy deeply unsettling, but something compels you to pick it up. You don't want to carry it around with you, but you decide to keep it in your room for safekeeping. Safekeeping. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, why couldn't we get like a little bobblehead? Shouldn't that? Oh, they should make Funko Pops of all the little uh, Evil Within characters. I'd love to get one of the Keeper. Oh, that's so cool. At least, like, wipe some ice on my face. Wipe the blood off and all that. Lily. Now look at the happiness on his face. Girl. How different his whole complexion is now. Dad? It's me, Lily. Oh god, fucking <laughs> just rip wrench her up. Shh, it's really me. Don't shush her. <laughs> you mean we're not home? Not yet. No, baby. But we will be soon. So tired. Go back to sleep. When you wake up, we'll be safe again. That's a nice chandelier. Bloody, she's got a nice chandelier for her room. Myra. My wife. I've got her. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I can't. Yes, you can. I'll carry both of you if I have to. But no. I'm not. Mobius has to be stopped. Screw Mobius. We've lost too much time to them already. We can get away, just the three of us. We'll go someplace where they'll never find us. There's nowhere to hide. Feet. They're everywhere. Lily will always be in danger. Unless I destroy them. Okay, fine, I'll wait. Once Mobius is gone, we'll... You're not a very good detective, are you, Sebastian? Fuck you know. STEM is more than just this place. All of Mobius are connected to it via the chips in their heads. Once I assume the power of the core, I can transmit a signal just as Union collapses. 
a signal that can take Mobius down once and for all. You finally, We're finally clicking together again. There's no other choice. This is part of the plan. It always has been. I'm sorry. Myra. Shh. Just promise to take care of the little one. Never let her forget how much her mother loved her. Okay. <laughs> Myra. That much is obvious. There's so much I want to say to you. You don't have to say anything. Three words are I've enough. I've been watching you all this time. I know how you suffered. What they did to you. What... I did to you. You didn't ask for any of this. You've been into hell twice for it. It's time for you to leave now. To live the life that was taken from you. Fucking hell. That hit me and I got there. Bloody hell. I love you, Myra. I love me too, Sebastian. I love you too. <laughs> Both of you. That's why I'm doing this. But there's no more time. You have to go now. That I didn't even get to say goodbye to her. Oh, it's the same as Sebastian. She didn't get to the same either. Oh? Come get me, assholes. Right. Ah, you fuck him! Gotta there get go. to the STEM room. Just need to make it downstairs. Hang on, Sebastian. I'm on my way. I'm coming. Hold on, Seb, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. From misery to happiness to be. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Damn! Her fucking accuracy! Why can't I be that accurate, for fuck's sake? Thank God they made her eyes a little bit more purple in this scene now. When I first saw it, it was like light blue. Hello, dickhead. What are you doing, kid? Your actions will only result in your death. You must know. I can't believe you actually used to fear this guy. Really? You had such potential. You could have amassed such power. You two could have had hand now gestures like me. All the way. <laughs> why? After all you've seen, all you've done, why the crisis of conscience now? Is it for the detective? For the child? Nah. Well, for a selfish reason. No. It's for her. It's for me. Think about what you're doing, kid. Oh. STEM is needed. <laughs> Got another hand gesture. <laughs> A unified consciousness for all mankind. No more wars. No more disparity. No more pain. Compared to all the pain you've caused the people that have entered into union. God, I hate hypocrites. Come on, Sebastian, hurry no going up. Back now. I hope you were right, Myra. Ew. Her head looked like curtains then for a minute. Sebastian! Kidman, I've got her. Where do I go? Get to your room. Alright. But Myra's staying behind. You know why. Of course she does. Okay. We don't have much time. I'm counting on you, Come on, little one. We gotta go. 
Hold on to me. Don't worry, Lily. We're almost there. Holy shit, we're sprinting. I mean, yeah, my athleticism is up all the way, but Jesus Christ. Oh not by God. this much. Oh God, not now. Not with my daughter in my arms, for fuck's sake. Just let me leave. Just let me live a normal life for once. Let Sebastian be happy. Run, Sebastian. Run. Don't worry, Lily. I'll take you out of here. We're gonna take you to see Joseph. We're gonna find him, I trust you, me. We're gonna find Sykes, we're gonna go to the pub, we're gonna have some drinks. We're toasting your mother's memory. Alright? We're gonna make it. We're gonna live. Just gonna hang on. I'm gonna watch you grow up. I'm gonna watch you get married. Oh my god, they're almost through. Come on. It's not too late to stop this kid. You stop at the hand gestures first. <laughs> I promise to kill you quickly. Fuck off. Otherwise, the punishment for your betrayal will be legendary. <laughs> legendary? <laughs> I'm going to be legendary, alright. Legendary for taking you down. Who wrote this? <laughs> Join us or die? Well, guess what? There's a third choice. Fuck you. And fuck you. You are foolish. But oddly admirable. It's a shame to have to lose you like this, kid. Our battle will be legendary. <laughs> what? You thought that I was just flying by the seat of my pants here? She removed it. I took my chip <laughs> out three days ago. No matter, you'll die today, one way or another. <laughs> She's got a hand just for every fucking emotion. Bloody hell! Fucking El Seb, hurry up, man! Hurry up! We're almost out of time. Oh, like block the door or something. Put something in front of it. There's gotta be a couple of beds that you can take loose. Oh. The message. There. Where's Ruby? Can we grab Ruby and take her with us? Where's Ruby? Ruby! Where are you? Ruby! What are you doing? Just step back. Dude! Step back! Oh, you idiot. You could have just stepped back and you'd been fine. Oh, you know what would be fucked up if he just, if he just fell right now and leave us the sole survivor? That would just piss me off. Good lord. Oh my god. Hug later. Mirror. Now. Mirror. Now. Go. <gasps> Bye, Helen and Mirren. You'll be safe. Don't let the door hit you on the way down. Or the roof. Or the furniture. System connected to Mobius members ready for the final phase. The rest is up to you, Julie. Myra. Good you job, dear. Myra. I knew you would. System shut down. Nice reveal. Wow. Oh, what a horrible way to go. More importantly, why the fuck would the administrator put a chip in his head if he knew what would happen? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. You took pleasure in there, didn't you? You know, I've been really more gruesome if he actually gritted his teeth and he like broke his teeth. Like that would have been Take more gruesome. Easy, You're safe now. Lily, where's Lily? Whoop! Pratt fall. <laughs> Stand over there. Hurry! <laughs> Wait, so if this place is shut down, how are you able to power that to turn that on to get her out? What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Captain America's love child? <laughs> Oh, it just reminds me of that scene. Oh, bless him. You're finally free. Dad, is it really you? Hey, sweet pea. Yes, Lily. It's really me. I, I was having the worst nightmare. Shh. I know, Lily. She's just standing there like a scarecrow. Nightmare's over. <laughs> There's nothing uh, she's just like emotionless. It really is, isn't it? I'm not still inside there. Just thinking I'm. It really is over. Thanks to Myra. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. What does that mean for Joseph? I just want to see Joseph one last time, man. I miss him. I miss Joseph. Okay. <laughs> you see, that administrator's hand gestures were no match for our head gestures. Our nods are powerful. <laughs> Finally, we can go home. Nice little ending scene. Kind of a bittersweet ending. That's very disturbing that you still have a doll of your mother. <laughs> very disturbing. <laughs> oh my god, I look good with denim on my back. Fucking hell. Sebastian going on with the... Wait, is that the three stars from the fucking logo of STEM? That's brilliant. You finally took your glove off, eh? Nice. Live with it, kid. And they became the new Joe and Ellie duo. <laughs> Hell, it would be nice to see a third game where she grows up and actually goes back into STEM for some odd reason. I just want some clarity on Joseph just, and Sykes. I want to know what happens with them, you know? This little fucking teaser. It bothered me for months. Because it gave me hope. It gave me actual hope of a continuation. That STEM is still active and someone would use it. You want that little classic outfit being in here again? You can't help but remember the last time. Oh, that's cool! You get to dress how he used to back when he was in the KCPD. That's brilliant. And the Magman. Fantastic. Tiny little Karen. Cannon. Oh, that's fucking great! That's fucking great! <laughs>
<laughs> it's the letterbox, like from the original game. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> like, I think they they actually got an awful lot of hate for the letterboxing, but I don't, it didn't bother me at all, really, when I played it on the first game. But yeah, that's fantastic. They, they added this back into it. That's awesome. But yeah, that was Evil Within, too, lads and ladies. This was pleasant. It was so nice to come back to this on my own to finally play this. The first time I actually played this game, it was with my ex. And we played it uh, like on SharePlay. And it was in German. And I loved it. I actually enjoyed it more like in a native language to my girlfriend because... It was just so nice to learn another language, like through this game, and just to hear Tatiana speak in German was just so fantastic. Like my ex, like always turned me on whenever she spoke in German, and it was just so weird to hear Tatiana talk like that, and then compare them to her. Really, it was just a fun little thing we used to do with one another, and even she would get turned on by Tatiana talking. It's just odd. Anyway, yeah, that was the first time I ever played E4 within two. It was with her, and I'm finally playing this. On my own here basically you know it's just so nice to get back into this experience of playing this fantastically nostalgic lovely game basically and it's just been fun it's, and I'm glad I'm finally able to get this on the channel for you guys you know because this has an awful lot of memories tied to this game so it was just so nice to experience this again I mean, it's just a good story all around but yeah this was fun very fun to come back to this so I think what I'll do now is I'll try and complete this game entirely, 100% it, like I'd done with the last one. And um, yeah, well, the Six Nations are coming up just around the corner, although you've probably already seen it by now, I've more than likely already recorded it for you guys, in which case, I hope you enjoyed them, because I definitely enjoy me some rugby, and the World Cup is coming up this year, so I'm going to try my best to try and go to it. It's in France. I don't know where precisely, but they will have their stadiums around certain parts of France, and I'll at least try to visit one of them for the World Cup, because this is going to be a big year. It's going to be really big for, like, New Zealand, Ireland, and France. But I feel like if Steve Borthwick does his job right with England in the Six Nations, I think we could be in a chance for our second World Cup. I, I hope, I have to hope, I have to believe that we can do it again. 20 years since the last time we've had it, I feel like we can do it. <laughs> but yeah. That has been Evil Within 2. I thank you ever so much for joining me, and as always, have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful, and fantastic day. Take care, my friends. Joseph. Joseph. My partner. My friend. My brother. Sebastian? Calling back so soon. What's up? After all this time, there's something we've never talked about. Sounds ominous. What is it? Not what. Who? Joseph. Right. I know that you respected Joseph and that he felt the same way towards you. I never had the opportunity to make amends about that. Things were confusing after Beacon. I should have tried to get answers about what happened. I mean, I know what happened. Don't worry, I can't fault you for what you did. But I still blame myself for his death. You don't have to do that, Sebastian. Why not? You'd prefer that I blame you? You're the one who actually killed him. No, I didn't. I saw you shoot him, Kidman. I know you did, but... But what? Joseph isn't dead. What? Are you... No. It can't... What happened to him? Where is he? That's a long story. And a conversation for another time. When we're both safe. Just know that you don't have to blame yourself for his death anymore. I've gotta go, Sebastian. Let's finish this and we can talk later. Yeah. You bet we're gonna talk later. And that right there is another reason why you want an Evil Within 3. What happened to Joseph? I wonder what happened to Joseph. Like, you can't just drop a bombshell like that. 
You can't just say he's not dead and not let us know where he is. <sighs> I'm just glad that he's managed to make an appearance in every single Evil Within game and DLC. Either as an enemy, a friend, or through just a little slide in a photographer. In a projector, sorry. Goodbye, Joseph. Hopefully I'll see you in the future. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye.